So here we're taking a peek at Lambda Bunker, um, which I should probably actually select. That might help things. Um, this is actually a decent little dual map. Um, not quite to the extent that uh, Datacore was, but definitely better than Bounce. Um, the thing is, it's a little bit more open than Datacore is, so you can actually have some use like snipers and classes like that. But at the same time, the grenades like throwing just isn't quite the same as it was in Datacore, so it loses that appeal there. Anyway, let's actually talk about the map. Um, if you can actually get an engineer still, like, you know, station run up here with a sentry and, like, you know, dispenser, then you, like, you pretty much won, I would imagine, it will, like, if you can coordinate with your friend. Because, you know, think about it, you can bounce up here, take the ladder, take this, like, area here and get back out. So you have, like, a little protective area that, you know... Oh, wait, I went the wrong way, good for me. You have a little protective area and, like, a place to hide. And this is actually one of the few places uh, I can think of, like, where, you know, the spy could actually, like, try and, like, you know, change his skies and not immediately get noticed because of, like, someone. Because, you know, these, like, deathmatch maps tend to get a little bit busy when you're, like, you know, playing with so many people. But even, like, a larger, like, you know, set of people, I think you could hide in there. Not much to say, though. It works really well. Or not really well. Relatively well is the word I was looking for. For Team Fortress Classic, but, you know, I would still recommend just playing it in actual Half-Life. You know, especially because, you know, our good old buddy Long Jump never wants to work in this game. See, Foxbot tends to avoid blowing these up right away like uh, JK Body does in Half-Life. If you watch my Half-Life video, which you should, go watch it. It's in the description. But yeah, I tend to always notice when I'd play like a full like server of those guys, they'd blow these up immediately. Uh, Foxbox is a little bit more, or Foxbot is a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Restraint and its use of excessive force on explosive boxes. But it's going to happen eventually, you know, just by complete accident. Not that it has any bearing on anything. Let me start playing. I believe every every class can actually make that jump, so that's good. I was always worried when I was first testing this out that the heavy web guy might not be able to pull it off. Yeah, this, this could be, I could really see this um, area. Because I've actually, this is one of the Half-Life Deathmatch maps I have not played on a real server. So, I, my, like, my experience with it is a little bit limited, but I can see snipers... Like, like, you know, really taking advantage of the fact that this is so fucking open. And, like, you know, spending all their time on this part right here. Like, this little area coming down here, shooting over there. So, you know, I would probably caution against that if you're, like, you know... You know there's a really good sniper on the server and they're probably gonna hang out there. I could be entirely wrong. I'm just, like, you know... I'm just assuming. That's what I would do. Like, if you told me to play sniper, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out here. I mean, really, this whole map is really open. So there's actually a lot of good sniper spots, as you can see. More so than a lot of these other, um, deathmatch map- or half-life maps in, um, like, you know, TFC here. Really, I was kind of downplaying it earlier, but this is- this feels like a good all-around map for the different classes. Um, it's just- it, the thing is, and that it's- it kind of how I felt about Lambda Bunker anyway, where it's fun for sure, but, you know, something about it- just doesn't spark my mat like you know my neurons as much as like you know some of the other half-life maps do so like it's not s like st like you know stockyard or like you know like crossfire or something like that you know one of the like really good maps oh well this might be a good place to try to throw down some sentries too like you know it's kind of my like ge like you know kind of a generalized knowledge uh, like advice I have for playing engineer on these maps is try to build around the chargers I keep bringing that up, though, because really, if you can, like, try to hold that spot, those things were, like, charged, so if you, like, you want to hold it and, then pre and prevent other people from getting to it, you basically just, like, you've locked off a major feature of the map to, like, the other teams. That's why I keep bringing that up, and that's what I would do. Heavy weapons, guys, are us! Whoa, whoa, whoa! The most dangerous thing ever right there. Ah, oh, you dumb fuck though. What? Oh, grenade double kill. I am extra nipple hard right now. The bots just can't quite figure out that you gotta j crouch to get that med kit. At least I would if that grenade didn't exist. Alright, well, Lambda Bunker, like I said, this is really pretty fun. You know, like I said, quite the middle of the road for these, like, you know, Half-Life maps in Team Fortress Classic. But, you know, you can have quite a bit of, like, you know... Good old action, fun time, guaranteed for all here. Yep.